A new title that got revealed at the Game Awards of 2021 is Slitterhead. This is a game, guys, that obviously really came out of nowhere, but it's got a lot of people excited, myself included. Obviously, being a massive horror fan, this is a title that looks like it's right down my alley. And for those of you that are into horror games, I'm sure it's down your alley as well. When we look at this being from one of the Silent Hill creators, that is something that is really, really exciting. So I want to go ahead, guys, in this first segment of the show and talk about everything that we know so far about Slitterhead. We can break it down, and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So in an article, guys, coming to us from Joe Donnelly of Games Radar, the debut project from Broca, uh, from Boca Game Studios looks frighteningly good. Reveal at the Game Awards 2021, Slitterhead is a new horror game, and the debut venture of indie outfit Boca Game Studio. The developer is headed by Silent Hill creator Kichiro Toyama, who brings years of experience to the project, having also masterminded the Forbidden Siren horror series and is being scored by Team Silence esteemed composer Akira Yamoka. And right off the bat, guys, this being a title that's coming to us from the Silent Hill creator is absolutely awesome. When you really think about it, obviously there was so much that went into Silent Hill and it's such a cult classic even to this day. I really want to see it continue in some form or another. We really wanted to see that happen, of course, with Hideo Kojima's you know, Silent Hills project. That didn't happen, but... On the flip side of this, it's really cool to see that we're getting, you know, Kachiro Toyama is going to still be working on other things, and he's working on something that looks to be pretty unnerving, something that could be really interesting in a number of ways and could potentially be a spiritual successor to Silent Hill. We'll kind of have to wait and see as time goes. So the Slitterhead trailer that aired at the Game Awards portrays a far more action-heavy approach to horror than Silent Hill survival horror leanings, and while there's nothing in the way of in-game footage as yet, there's definitely enough to get fans of the genre buzzing. So the first thing, when is the release date? This is the big thing for a lot of those of us who are excited about this title. While there's nothing concrete regarding a Slitterhead release date for now, Boca Game Studio head Kichiro Toyama said the developer's first project would release in 2023 for PC in an interview held prior to Slitterhead's reveal. Within that interview, Boca says it's been to it's keen to bring Slitterhead to as many console platforms as possible, so Xbox Series X and PS5 versions of the game at the very least seem likely. So my question though with this, this kind of gets me a little bit concerned though, is when we're hearing them say that it's going to come out on PC in 2023, does that mean it's going to release simultaneously on Xbox as well as PlayStation or is it going to be on PC first and then later on on Xbox and PlayStation? I would really like it to release on all platforms guys so that everybody who, whether you play on PC or you play on console, you're able to play and, and play it on day one. So definitely hoping that is the case, but we'll, I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys posted as time goes. The Slitterhead trailer that aired at the Game Awards teases a little of what we can expect from Boca Game Studios' first project and leads with Kichiro Toyama's horror credentials. A caption reads, in 1999, Kichiro Toyama chose horror as the genre for his first directorial work. Silent Hill was released to the world. In 2020, he went independent and founded Boca Game Studio, and he came back to face a new challenge in horror. And so that's very, very exciting, obviously, to see could this be like the next Silent Hill story? Could Slitterhead become another call classic down the road. That is something that time will tell. And obviously guys, we're going to be breaking down every little thing because obviously there's going to be a, a, you know, a built amount of pressure, obviously being the silent Hill creator coming, you know, with this next story being Slitterhead, there's going to be a lot of pressure and a lot of anticipation when this game comes out. So obviously guys, we'll have to kind of wait and see how it turns out, but this could be hopefully the beginning of a brand new horror franchise, not just a one-and-done type, type of title. Again, with such a short burst of cinematic footage, it's hard to say exactly what shape Slitterhead will take in gameplay terms come final release. The Silent Hill and Siren series have both historically adopted third-person perspectives. However, horror heavyweight Resident Evil has recently pivoted to first-person fair in Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village. Ghostwire Tokyo, the upcoming action horror game from the Evil Within creators Tango Gameworks, has likewise moved from third to first-person view. Therefore, 
It'll be interesting to see which path Slitterhead goes down. And to me, guys, I believe that I would love to see Slitterhead go the third person route. Look, we've got a lot of first-person shooters. We've got a lot of first-person games now in the horror space as well. I really would like to kind of go back to that third-person perspective as well, or at least have games in that you know perspective. And I think that this is a perfect opportunity to kind of reintroduce that third-person feel in the horror genre. I think it's got, it definitely just even from the game footage that we saw, even though it's not gameplay, we're seeing cinematics, it feels like it could very well be a third-person type of game, but we'll have to wait and see on that as as well. Kachiro Toyama is the head of Boca Game Studio and the creative director of Slitterhead. Besides creating Silent Hill in the late 1990s, he is also responsible for the Forbidden Siren series of horror games, the last of which, Siren Blood Curse, landed in 2008, having spent the last several years working on the Sony-exclusive action-adventure series Gravity Rush. In 2020, the veteran developer established Boca Game Studio with Slitherhead marking its first project. Team Silent uh, composer Akira Yama, uh, Yamaoka is also scoring the project and thinks that you'll like the finished product. So, Let's put it to you like this, guys. Slitterhead is definitely rising quickly on my most anticipated list of games of the future. Now, we're going to have to wait and see until we get more information about it when we can actually start seeing gameplay and things of that nature to really sink our teeth into it. But from what we've seen so far, this has a very unnerving feel. Sure, it does feel pretty action heavy as far as being a horror title, but I don't think that's a bad thing. It doesn't necessarily have to, you know, kind of follow the, the patterns that we're seeing other games take. I want it to be its own thing. Sure, you can take things from other horror titles, like being a spiritual successor to Silent Hill and things of that nature, but I also want to see it kind of stand on its own. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think about Slitterhead in the comments section down below. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Slitterhead content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.